Morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive, and this morning we're visiting with Sarah Drysdale. She's Family and Consumer Sciences Agent in Ballard County. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for having me back. I'm glad that you're back with us. Now, Sarah, last time we talked about the importance of staying hydrated in the winter months, but today we are going to focus on those favorite warm beverages that we all love during these cold months. Yes. So when we talk about staying hydrated, you know, we are always trying to drink as much water as possible. You know, our eight fluid ounces, our eight to 12 cups of that. But sometimes we want to substitute that out to feel a little warmer. But while we're doing that, we still want to make sure we're getting proper nutrition for our body, not only to keep our body healthy, but to keep us warm too. Now, Sarah, we know that many of those favorite beverages can be full of sugar and, and it's definitely a good thing to treat yourselves every now and then, but it is something that we want to be mindful of. So how can we make the most out of these warm Warm beverages this season? Well, I know my personal favorite warm beverage is a cup of coffee mm. and I am not the best at just drinking it black because black <laughs> coffee is about five calories or less, but then we add those calories in when we include creamers and sweeteners. And that's kind of where it gets us is adding in those extra calories. And we want to be mindful of that because yes, while a really nice peppermint mocha is fantastic, <laughs> too many of those, and we've drank 500 calories without even realizing it. So when we think about, you know, making sure we don't have as many added sugars, we also need to think about our caffeine consumption because a lot of us like to drink coffee or tea. Well, even tea, black tea, or even a gray tea has some caffeine in it. And we really want to limit that because we don't want to be all jittery throughout the day. That can have some negative side effects. So one thing that I find myself doing in the colder months is swapping out from maybe my black tea to an herbal tea. And that way I still get that warm tea. It's a little sweeter with the fresh fruit or mint, whatever is in it. I think right now I'm doing a green tea with a little bit of mint. And that is something that I'm enjoying on these cold mornings. But just making sure that when we do things like this, we be mindful of it, especially with our children. Because Kids love hot cocoa during the winter months. I know that was one of my favorite things to do. Just making sure we're not using whole fat milk. We're using fat-free milk. We are limiting the number of marshmallows we put in, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying no marshmallows. We just want to be mindful of how many we put in to our hot cocoa. You're not the marshmallow police. <laughs> no, not at all. I encourage marshmallows, but maybe just not a whole thing covering the rim, maybe five or six. Yes. We're going to have multiple cups. Yes. It's very important to be mindful. And, and this is a good reminder for all of us. Now, Sarah, um, what about vegetable broths and other things like that? Because I know that there are many benefits to bone broths and other things, um, especially um, right now when we are fighting off many illnesses. Yes. So drinking a vegetable broth or a beef broth, bone broth, whatever your preference, that gets us lots of nutrients, especially if we are not wanting to have a, a big full meal on the occasion, you know, but making sure that we stay warm. Like I said, when you come in from the cold, if it's been snowing or these brutal wind chills that we can get, just kind of cut you to the bone sometimes. And you may not want to eat, but you need something warm, something to kind of stick to your bones and fill you up. So making sure that you get those nutrients like your vitamins and minerals, you can get that through broths, which is great. Sarah, I have been uh, purchasing more decaf uh, coffee and teas because I do find myself uh, craving those warm beverages. So that's another good option, purchasing some decaf. Sarah, thank you so much for being with us today. So many great tips. I'm ready to go. Have me another cup of coffee. <laughs> thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show. If you would like more information on staying hydrated this season, be sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.